Hello everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to do everything climbs. So this is aimed at you guys, beginners who are either learning to climb or you've just been climbing for a little while. We're gonna go over the technique of two different climbs that we do here. And then I'm gonna show you some variations. So once you're starting to master the basic elements of these climbs, we're gonna then take it to make it a little bit more interesting, but still so that we can practice the trick itself. So when you learn a new trick, you don't wanna be just doing that trick in the same way all the time, because then you don't get any variety in it. And you wanna make sure that you're nailing this trick so that you can then do other tricks after. And often you start with one trick, you might actually need to do a slightly different variation depending on what you're doing after and adding it into a combo. So, with that being said, we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with a standard climb, which I'm gonna go through the teaching points for this one. And this might vary from studio to studio. You might not do the climbs in these ways, but it's gonna be a different way of showing you how to do it. So. Our standard climb here is we're going to bring one leg up to the pole at about parallel. So making sure that this leg is parallel to the ground. We're gonna put the knee on and then we're gonna wrap this foot behind. And for this one, we are gonna flex the foot. Yeah, Not all of them you have to flex, but to start with, just to give it a go and just to give yourself a couple extra bruises in a couple different areas. So I'll show you from front on. We want to make sure that the knee in here is pushing into the pole. Really, really important. Our foot is then going the opposite way. So knee in, foot the opposite way. And then this sort of position, this pressure is going to be what helps keep us onto the pole to enable us to climb. If you don't do that with your legs, then you're just doing a pull up with your arms, which is incredibly hard to start with. So with that in mind, squishing the knee, the foot, Underneath your foot, we're gonna pretend that there's an imaginary step so that when you climb up, you're gonna push down and you're gonna think about actually stepping on the step, yeah? At the same time, you wanna think about squeezing to get that skin grip. If your foot starts to look like this and the knee's off, then it's not gonna be a really secure position and it's not gonna help you climb in the best way possible. So, let's get started. We're gonna bring that leg up like I showed. We're gonna push the knee in and now you're gonna bring the arms up. So my right leg is on the pole, I'm bringing my right hand higher, and as I think about squeezing, I'm gonna pull my shoulders back up on my tippy toes so that I engage my whole body, and I'm gonna to start to pull myself up until I can lift myself off the ground, and then back down. So very, very baby steps, we're gonna progress it pretty quickly, but you wanna be able to do that first move, pushing away. And if you find that for this position, that when you pull up, you're sliding down with the leg, then you're gonna need either more grip on your leg, or you're gonna to need to do that, that push and pull a little bit harder. From here, I want you to try and push all the way up so that you have your crutch, your stomach, and your chest all on the pole at the same time and then that's when we're gonna bring our other leg up and over. So, we bring that leg up, we're gonna pull our shoulders down up on our tippy toes, you're gonna to come all the way up and bring your leg up, and then down. Let me show you from this side. When we get to the top, we're gonna to lift our opposite leg really high, come into the pole, push on and squeeze down. Yeah, you need a lot of skin grip. So even these shorts are probably a little bit long to do this trick. So just pull your shorts up a little bit, get the leg on, shoulders down and back, foot onto your toe, pull up, squeeze up, and then down. And from here, squeezing your thighs as high as, as hard as you can. And if you can, taking off one hand, taking off the other hand, taking off both hands. Good, hands back on, and then down. So some common mistakes when coming up there is once you're in that position, a lot of people tend to bring this leg off. You wanna keep that shin onto the pole and you wanna keep that knee squished in and you'll be able to hold a nice strong version of that, yeah? So give that a few goes. If you need to pause this video for a second and do that, um, definitely do it. Make sure that you wipe your pole down as well so that it's nice and grippy. We're gonna progress this once you have got the hang of it and turn it into a spinning climb. Yeah, so we're gonna add a little bit of finesse to it. To do this, instead of climbing straight up, 
I'm actually gonna lean to the side. So before I climb all the way up, I'm gonna lean like this, and then I'm gonna pull myself in and push my foot down. Let me show you from front on. So I get my body into position. Before pulling up, I lean, and then I pull. And I do a little half spin around the pole. You can do it a quarter spin. If you really wrap your leg around and hold yourself a little bit before you squeeze the leg on, then you can do a really, really big turn. So from here, as I pull up, I'm gonna lean and I'm gonna wait a second and then I'm gonna put my leg on. And then I can get a really, really big distance around the pole, yeah? Try both sides as well. You might find one side is better than the other. This one is a little bit harder on your arms because the momentum is pulling you away and around the pole. So make sure that you've really got that foot on, you're really stepping on that imaginary step and squeezing that knee nice and tight, yeah? Give it a go guys. And then I'm gonna show you our second climb. All right, for our second climb, this is called a princess climb, also a knee climb. Sometimes people call it a fireman climb. And what we're gonna do, very similar to the first one, our leg is on, our hands come up. You're gonna think about sitting down into it. Leg in front and pull up, yeah? So again, very beginner steps to start with. What you wanna do, again, the pressure is pushing in. It's a little bit easier to come up in this one because you're using both legs to come up instead of just the one leg. So when I bring my hands up here, bringing my leg up nice and high, I'm actually gonna sit down into it. This is where I start to take a bit of weight in my arms to get my other leg off the ground. Now from here is where we can point this toe and then come up and just slide down. This one is often used by many pole dancers all around the world because it is much prettier than the other one, yeah? And they transition from this into a sit, into an invert, into lots of crazy different stuff, yeah? So let's talk about this. Firstly, the knees are gonna squeeze nice and close together, so you want them to be right beside each other. One common mistake people make is that when they come up, one leg is up high, one leg is down low, and you can't quite get that position. So, one leg in front, one leg behind. It's gonna be the calf of your front leg and the shin of your back leg. Now you can flex this foot if you need to, to start, but eventually you don't need it because you're squeezing those legs together this way and that way. So the knees and then also the calf and shin. The arms are doing exactly the same thing. When you're up there, it's not gonna feel as secure. You can then transition into our other sit that we were doing before. So let's try and start with a pointed toe this time. On, pulling up, and then we can transition into our sit. Yeah? So, some people prefer this one, looks way prettier, and we are going to turn this also into a spinning climb, which is really, really fun. So we're adding a spin before this trick. So, to do that part of the trick, we're gonna step around the pole and we're gonna do what we call an extended fireman. So I'll just show you first like that. So our body is facing the pole completely and our legs are just out to the side. We're holding our right hand up nice and high. Our other hand is gonna come just about our face. With the spin, you push and then when you're coming into the pole to hook your legs on, you pull a little bit. So let me show you the whole trick. So we're gonna step out, up, and then we can change our hand and pull up from there. And then just slide down, yeah? Let's do that again. So all you need to remember is which way the legs are going. So as long as you have one leg in front, one leg behind, you're gonna be fine. Squeezing at the knees, knees together. So we go out, up, hand, pull up, and then slide down, yeah? So now you have learnt two different variations of climbs and then we also learn how to progress these into something else, yeah? You can practice these both sides. You can add in your favorite trick before or after this. If you wanna add in a little spin, like that first trick, you could do a little pirouette. Climb and around. 
The opportunity is absolutely endless with this. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. Let us know what you love about this video. Tag us and share it as well. And we'll see you next time.